The transport sector plays an important role in the economic survival and infrastructure development of any given country. But following the outbreak of coronavirus, the sector was almost brought to its knees with some companies closing down. This owing to movement restrictions introduced to contain the further spread of the pandemic. The chief executive officer at FP Detroit Transport, Stefan Terreblanche, says there has been less transportation of general goods, meaning smaller truck loads. We could only transport essential stuff for April and uh, May. And when we, uh, it, 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 you know, they make a turnaround and we could also transport uh, non-essentials. A lot of business, the volumes is down. It's totally down. Travel of haulage trucks has also been reduced due to frequent testing, screening and quarantine of drivers at the borders, a development that is negatively affecting time on delivery. Immediately your cost per kilometer is much higher because you have fixed costs that stay the same. And you must divide it now through less kilometers. So the per kilometer cost is increasing. You still have to pay the your drivers their basic salary, you still have to pay them in full, their pension, their medical aid, everything. You know, you still have to pay that. Because you can't say, I can't pay the driver if he's standing on the border for a day or two or three. While acknowledging the prevalence and dangers of COVID-19, Detroit is calling for an improved process to improve cross-border cargo trucks operations. Terra Blanche says the company is committed to keep all of its 1,000 workers, both in Namibia and South Africa, as well as some in other African countries. It's a survival thing. You know, you had to cut costs. And the main thing from the beginning, our business, what we were looking at, is to say, listen, we don't want to retrench. We must protect jobs. FP Detroit currently has its own temporary quarantine facility where en route drivers are kept away from the public before they are allowed to proceed to their next destination. In all, Terre Blanche argues that the coronavirus calls for great discipline and strict adherence to hygiene protocols. He also suggests that the sale of alcohol be stopped, saying it plays a role in the spread of the disease. Jeff Tashihomino, NBC News, Venduk.